Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Cool Eagle, man. Hey, man, make sure y'all wearing y'all mask out here, man, especially if you're in an affected state. You know, like, whether you believe it or not, it's cool. I'm saying just trying to give all my peeps in Eagles Nation and worldwide, man, just tell you just be safe out here, man. Keep yourself armed with knowledge and whatever resources you have. Yo, 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 what's up, Eagles Nation? It's your guy, Cool Eagle, back here with another video, man. Um, man, right before our divisional showdown with the Dallas Cowboys tomorrow, man. And I just wanted to come talk to you guys, man, while I was... Because right now, I'm busy on my job, as you know. I got the good old ladder back, so obviously, y'all know what I'm doing. Um, you know, like another hurricane just hit, and I'm going to go deal with that. Got to go report in New Orleans uh, Monday morning. So definitely a busy 48 hours for me, a lot of driving. But this is not about that, okay? This is about the fact that we are not being nice to these Cowboy fans. We are not, we are not, like, for the, like for the sake of respect, whatever, like, for their fan base. Now, for individual people, as human beings living on this planet, yeah, okay, uh, we're going to give them that. You know, because that is a, a right or of respect. You got to respect your fellow man. But if your fellow man follows an ideology or an organization, you know, like not necessarily ideology, because then that would be some kind of ist, and I don't want y'all doing that. But if your fellow man is a Cowboys fan, let's just say that specifically. If your fellow man is a Cowboys fan who has participated and instigated and propagated all the all the trash talking about Carson Wentz, the wheelchair Wentz jokes. Um, oh, y'all haven't won a Super Bowl uh, in 50 plus years, even though there have only been 54 Super Bowls so far. Uh, the same Cowboy fans who are making wheelchair Wentz jokes, but somehow get up in a fluster, have the audacity to get upset when Eagles fans like EDP come on live and do the exact same thing. And, but, but, but yet y'all expect us to have more class, but yet, but yet in that same breath, in that same breath, y'all will say we're the top five worst fan bases in the NFL, which is probably arguably true. We did throw batteries at Santa Claus and, you know, you know, a lot of us did celebrate the, uh, the unfortunate injury uh, and career ending injury of Michael Irvin. But this does not excuse the fact that karma is a real thing. Karma does not discriminate. Karma is a universal concept that does not shy away or wait for anyone, kind of like time. So all these content creators talking about Oh, man, like Eagles fans once again have no class celebrating the quarterback's injury. I mean, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn because for years, y'all making wheel, man, y'all making wheelchair winch jokes. Y'all, every year, every year since 1995, I was born in 94. So ever since the time that I was pretty much still in diapers, y'all have been chirping, 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 chirping but refuse to buy Tweety Bird costumes on Halloween but still want to chirp act like y'all gonna win the Super Bowl when every year it's the same result. Eight and eight. Uh, a showdown with some division rival you lose. And even when you go to playoffs, you, like, bro, like you get bounced out. Okay? I think in the past, what, uh, 25 years, y'all have only won, like, two playoff games. Give or take, like, like two or three playoff games. Y'all are in the same category of teams who have not been to a conference game in the past two decades. In this, in this the 2000s and the 2010s. Y'all join the, man, look, y'all join the Buffalo Bills. Y'all join the Cincinnati Bengals. Y'all join the New York Jets. Must I continue? But yet every year, like y'all expect us to, you know, take the crap, like little sissies, and then get mad, and then change the narrative when you don't, you know, like when your season goes awry. Like I'm waiting, I am waiting 
for when y'all lose this division and y'all come up with the excuse, oh, we didn't have our starting quarterback. Oh, we blame Mike Nolan. Oh, we blame Mike McCarthy. It didn't work out. Oh, the Joneses. It's all kind of excuses with this fan base. I don't get it. Okay? So 2005, 2006, somewhere around there, right? Y'all had Bill Parcells, who told y'all not to sign T.O. because of the locker room drama it was going to cause if you did sign him. What did y'all do? Y'all end up signing Terrell Owens. Now, granted, y'all did probably win one playoff game, but you still didn't do anything. It didn't take you over the hump. Y'all had the best players in the NFC East for years. And I can go back 2005, Tony Romo, Jason Witten, and then y'all got Terrell Owens. Y'all had two star running backs, Marion Barber for a few years, Julia Jones for a couple years. Y'all have always had like top five linemen in the league going to all pro and pro bowls. In defensive linemen, man, y'all had Greg Ellis, y'all had Demarcus Ware, man, y'all had all, bro, y'all had, uh, what's his name, uh, Roy Williams, hard-hitting Roy Williams, dog, bro, y'all had T. New in his prom, bro, but y'all still couldn't get it done. Y'all make every kind of excuse, but yet all the resources are given to you. Y'all are like a rich kid from Beverly Hills, California, who grew up in prestige, had it all his life. And then when he turns 25, he he still can't wonder why he can't get past high school. And you still wonder why he still sits on the corner talking shit to the other guys who made something of themselves, aka the Philadelphia Eagles who've been to multiple NFC Championship games, been to multiple Super Bowls and won one. But yet, y'all still come up with the same excuses. And I'm tired of these backward-ass content creators always want to tap dance around the issue, want to move the goalposts when the shit don't fit their narrative, want to ask us questions like, oh, well, what made John Trey up a Carson Wentz? Stupid. That's how you do it. You get a franchise quarterback, a.k.a. what Carson Wentz has proven to be, he did beat y'all with a bunch of practice squad guys, if I don't remember that. Okay, we trade up to get him for the number two pick. That's what you do. You get a franchise quarterback. You build around him, which is arguably something that Jerry Jones has did better building around Dak Prescott than Howie Rosen has with Carson Wentz. Okay? I'll give you that. I'd rather have Amari Cooper and those three guys than what we have now, even though I love what we have right now in Travis Fogum, Greg Ward, J.J. Arthur Whiteside coming up, um, and those other guys, man. Dallas Goddard. Bro, it's all good. I'll give y'all that. But y'all will not sit here and continue to tap dance, book dance, and be professional goal movers. That is not y'all's job. Y'all's job is to be loyal to a fan base that has failed you for 25 years. And you or anybody else will not expect Eagles fans, content creators, whatever you call yourself, a part of the Eagles organization, mascot, whatever, you will not expect us to be nice to these guys. You will not do it. You just won't, and I won't let it happen. Um... I don't know if a lot of y'all follow the Philly Talk podcast, about, but uh, I was on there last night giving a flurry. You know, man, uh, you know, a shout out to Philly Mike, Philly Talk podcast, and all the and and all the other guys that were on the board there, man. Like, make sure y'all sub up to all of them. All of them are seemingly very nice guys, and seemingly know what they're talking about. But a lot of them buck dance around the point. Why haven't you won in 26 years? And why is it every year that you have an excuse as to why you can't win? But when Philadelphia Eagles do it, it's somehow a bad thing. It's somehow, oh, oh, get over it. Man, man, y'all sound like a group of supporters I know that's coming, that's coming up in this election. But I ain't going to say nothing because I don't care for politics, as y'all know. Uh, but I'm just saying, man, 
Y'all can't be buck dancing and narrative changing all your life. Especially over the past 25 years, man. Like, you got to find, bro, y'all got to do something, man. Y'all have had all this talent over the 20, past 25 years and have only two playoff wins to show for it. Doug Peterson got that in one year. Plus. Come on. And when y'all take this ass whooping on Sunday, when y'all take this ass whooping on Sunday, read the words that are coming out of my mouth. You will not buck dance. You will not change the narrative. And you will accept the fact that you are losers with no excuses. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys.